Today, I have something special for all the tech enthusiasts and DIY professionals out there. I'm holding the Finesse IR40 Smart Laser Range Finder and we're about to see what this compact powerhouse has to offer. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into the unboxing. As I open up the box, the first thing that catches my attention is the sleek design of the Fenderci IR40. It's smaller than I expected, which is great for portability. Everything is neatly picked and right away it gives off a professional vibe. Along with the rangefinder, we have a user manual and a USB-C charging cable, thoughtful addition for any user. Holding it in my hand, the build quality immediately stands out. It's lightweight yet feels sturdy enough to withstand regular use. The on-off buttons on the right side are well placed making it easy to operate with one hand. These on and off buttons serve multiple purposes. The on button can also be used as a major key and the off button doubles as a clear key. I will demonstrate the full functionality during the practical demonstration. On the top, we have the laser receiver lens and the laser emission lens. On the left side, you will find the charging indicator and the Type-C port. On the front is the LCD display and on the bottom side is the reset hole. If the device software becomes unresponsive or encounters any error that cannot be restored through normal operation, using the reset hole can reboot the system, clearing the error. Let's power it up and check out the features. To turn on the Fenderci Smart Laser Range Finder, press and hold the on key for at least 3 seconds. Anyway, the screen, it's bright and clear, something I always appreciate in any digital tool. This device is equipped with Bluetooth functionality. You will notice the Bluetooth icon blinking on its display, indicating that it's currently not connected to a cell phone. The real magic happens when you pair it with the dedicated application allowing for remote control and monitoring of the device. This feature adds a layer of convenience and versatility as you can manage measurements and access additional functionalities right from your smartphone. I will delve into the specifics of how this works and demonstrate the app's capabilities in more detail later in this video. As you rotate the device, the display orientation adjusts automatically ensuring that the measurements are always easy to read regardless of how you hold the device. This feature is particularly useful in tight spaces or when measuring at awkward angles. The screen orientation adopts seamlessly, providing an upright display whether you are holding the rangefinder horizontally, vertically or even upside down. This means you can focus more on the accuracy of your measurement and less on how the device is positioned, making your work more efficient and user-friendly. The default measuring unit on this device is set to meters. However, if you need measurements in feet and inches, you can easily switch units by quickly pressing the on key twice. This quick toggle feature is designed for convenience, allowing you to seamlessly switch between metric and imperial units without disrupting your workflow. Before you start measuring the distances with the device, it's important to choose your reference point. Whether you measure from the front of the device, front datum, or from the big rear datum. By default, the device is set to measure from the rear datum, indicated by a dotted line on the display. To switch to the front datum, quickly press the off key twice. To measure a distance, first press the on key to activate the laser. Aim the laser at your target, ensuring the device remains steady. Once you are aligned, press the on key again to record the measurement. The device will display the distance accurately, but if you are not satisfied with the measurement and you want to clear it, Simply press the OFF key, this action will reset the measurement. For continuous measurement recording, press the ON key once to turn on the laser and then press it again to measure the distance. The device saves each measurement sequentially labeled as L1, L2, L3 and so on on the display. This feature is especially useful for tracking multiple measurements in one session. You can clear the measurements one by one by repeatedly pressing the OFF key. This device is designed to work accurately right out of the box. However, if you find that your measurements are not as precise as expected, there is a handy calibration feature available. To access this, press and hold the OFF key, then press and hold the ON key for at least 3 seconds. This action will bring up the calibration settings on the display. In calibration mode, you can adjust the measurement accuracy using the ON and OFF keys. The ON key increases the calibration value while the OFF key decreases it. This allows for fine tuning to ensure the device measurement aligned with your exact requirements. 
After selecting your desired calibration value, press and hold the on key for a few seconds to save and exit the calibration mode. In my experience, the device arrived perfectly calibrated with a default setting of 0mm, which worked great for my needs. However, the option to recalibrate is a variable feature for those who require the utmost precision in their measurements. I measured the distance from the top of this table to the ceiling and I was amazed by its accuracy. Next, I tested the device precision by measuring the distance between two walls. The result was impressively accurate, closely matching my manual measurements with a traditional tape measure. This level of precision is particularly important for projects where even a small error can have significant consequences. The device not only provided a quick reading but also ensured that I could trust the accuracy of these measurements for my work. I also conducted tests with various plaque objects and the device performed exceptionally well even in these typically challenging conditions. This was a short range test and the device accuracy with plaque objects at close proximity was impressive. However, it's worth noting that I haven't yet tested its performance over long distances. The effectiveness of laser range finders with dark colored objects can sometimes vary at greater ranges, so I'm curious to see how this device will handle measurements when the target is several meters away. This aspect is particularly important for those who frequently work in environments with diverse object colors and distances. I will leave the long distance test with Blake objects to you as it's currently too cold for me to venture outside. If you have already tested it under these conditions, feel free to share your experience in the comments. To cycle through the various measurement modes on this device, simply long press the on key. This action will switch the modes and a set order. It starts with linear measurement, which is your standard distance measuring mode. Following that, it moves to area measurement, useful for calculating the area of a space, and then to volume measurement, which is ideal for determining the volume of a room or a container. The device may offer additional modes depending on its features, each designed to cater to different measuring needs. This cyclic navigation makes it easy to quickly switch between modes based on the specific requirements of your task. Now let's move on to connecting the rangefinder to its Bluetooth application. First, you will need to download and install the rangefinder application which should take only about 3-4 to four minutes. Once the application is installed and your device is powered on, open the application and follow the on-screen instructions to pair the rangefinder with your smartphone. You will know it's connected when the Bluetooth icon on the device stops blinking. On the main screen of the application, there is a gear icon that allows you to select your preferred measurement units. Changing the units on the application will automatically update the units on the device as well, ensuring synchronization between the two. After setting your preferred unit, hit the big button to return to the main settings menu. Next, you can start with the datum setting. Then you can select between the front datum and a rear datum. Once you are done with these basic settings, then you can go back to the main screen. Here you will find another icon next to the gear icon, which leads you to different measurement options, distance, rectangular area, and cube volume. Select the one that fits your current needs. For this demonstration, I will choose distance. Finally, click on the upward pointing arrow icon to enter the virtual measure mode. In this mode, the application displays the distance measured by the range finder in real time giving you a convenient and interactive way to track your measurements. To complete a measurement, press the Save Data button in the application. You can repeat these steps for multiple measurements, which I found to be a particularly convenient feature. What I really appreciate is the ability to position the rangefinder in a stable spot. It won't move once placed. Then you can conveniently record different measurements directly from the application. This setup not only enhances the accuracy of your measurements by ensuring the device remains steady, but also saves a significant amount of time, especially when handling multiple or complex measurements. You can use this calculator to perform mathematical operations on your measurements. To create a drawing based on your measurements, press the Draw option in the application. You will be presented with two choices, plain drawing and draw on picture. Choose the option that suits your needs. For this demonstration, let's proceed with plain drawing. To begin your drawing, press and hold the plus icon, then drag it to the desired starting point. This action will set your initial position for the drawing. Next, to draw a line, press and hold the plus icon again and drag it to the end point of your line. This process allows you to create a straight line in your drawing. After drawing the line, you can assign the measurement to it. 
Select the line you have drawn and input the measurement value you recorded with your range finder. This tip is crucial for ensuring that your drawing accurately reflects the real world dimensions. By repeating these steps, adding lines and assigning measurements, you can create detailed drawings of various objects or spaces. This feature is especially useful for visualizing measurements in a more tangible way and can be a great tool for planning and designing projects. In conclusion, the Finercy IR40 is more than just a measuring tool. It's a versatile companion for anyone who values precision, efficiency and ease of use in their measuring tasks. Don't forget to share your experience with it, especially those long-range tests in the comments below. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the Financy IR40 Smart Laser Range Finder. If you found this review helpful, be sure to like, share and subscribe for more tech reviews. Drop your thoughts or any questions about this device in the comments below. And let me know what you would like me to unbox and review next. Until next time, keep measuring and stay smart. Support me on Patreon for more videos. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.